Ikuya, Kwarte, Michael, Kwashi, Samuel, Jojo, Zobo, Donatus, Second Class, Sylvia Peidu, Bunyamin Abdul Rahman, Emmanuel Kombiok, Ebenezer Kontor Boaf. I approve the decision by the authorities of the university to establish a medical school for the training of doctors, not only to serve the three regions of Puro, Puro East and Ahafu, but also to serve the towns and communities along the entire western corridor of the country. I'm told that Ghana's doctor population ratio is approximately one doctor to 8,000 persons. This Jefferson is woefully inadequate and unacceptable. The remarks as a matter of urgency refers to the situation within the shortest possible time. And I'm fully committed to ensuring that our youth gain access not only to senior high school education, but also to tertiary education, a path that represents the surest ways of equipping the citizen with the requisite skills for national development. High school policy was commenced in September 2017. Well, from next month in September, have all students from SHS 1 to SHS 3 being its beneficiaries. In all, 1.2 million children will be enrolled in our high schools across the country under the policy, making it the largest number of students so enrolled in our nation's history. To accommodate the expected higher This intervention will provide increased opportunities for our young people to further their education, pursue their dream, and ultimately contribute their quota to the development of our country. As was articulated by the Vice Chancellor in his remarks, something must be done about the significant numbers of debt fund projects that have all come to a standstill which is putting enormous pressure on the facilities of the university. It's intended to be a guarantee of action. Whilst we work to address the infrastructural challenges of the university, I'm happy to announce that the pledge we made to construct the five kilometers of access roads for the university is being fulfilled. A contract worth 7.9 million seats awarded to nurses to trust some limits and the road will be completed in 18 months. The contractor will be on site by the end of this month. Government will continue to initiate policies and programs to enhance the capacity of graduates from our tertiary institutions to contribute to the socio-economic of our nation. It is my expectation that of the Canadian he and I will continue to produce graduates for the world to take on the opportunities and possibilities for higher achievement through innovation and creativity. Today's science and technology led knowledge driven global economy for voters' responsibility to impact the world positively. Should remember that you have a major role to play development of our country and in the realization of the vision of moving our country to a situation beyond aid. The flagship programs rolled out by government, that is one district, one faction, one village, one land, planting for food and jobs. In addition to the exploitation, our strategic resources of bauxite and iron deposits, ore deposits among others, are geared towards building a Ghana beyond aid. A renowned scholar, a noble Ghanaian, a devoted patriot, one who distinguished himself during his time as leader of the opposition in the immediate and post years, in the immediate pre and post years of independence, and as Prime Minister of our country from 1st October 1970 